Hello, Brills here. So this method name is level of details or load for short. Basically, this is for increasing your mass object performance for Unity. Alright, let's go. All you need is just your object mass. And my mass is the tree leaves and branch. On my collection folder here is just my template mass for creating my leaves later. So you don't need to uh, follow this. But if you want to know more about it, you can watch my other videos on the description links below. So first, because I have more than one mesh to use slot, I will make an empty object or plane axis on this blender. This empty object will become a game object with plot component that control the lot function on Unity. So I will name this empty object as tree. Then I parent my two objects mesh to it. Just select my two objects mesh with shift and left click. Then select my empty object last. Then press Ctrl P or right click on it. Then choose parent. Then choose object. After that, I'm going to make my three branch lot first. So just duplicate it with shift D. Then press escape to snap it back to the default position. Then parent the duplicated mesh to the original tree branch. I'm going to make two level of details. So I'm going to duplicate it again. And just parent it again on the first child of the mesh. So the result is should be like this. Then add the last part of your mesh name to underscore load 0 or the number of your child object. The first load is level 0 and the max level is whatever you want. In my case, I'm just going to make two level of details. The next thing I want to do is to lower my load 1 and load 2 mesh. So you can use decimate modifier if you want or you can edit it and do the modeling manually with the lower trees. If you using the decimate modifier like I do, just use the unsubdivided mode then use the value the same as your load value number. The higher the level is the lower the mass trees or the face count like you see over here. Now there you go, that was the basic to do the load. You can just do the same progress to the second object mesh. Now I'm just going to show you how I finish my entire load progress. Okay, that was it. I'm just going to show you how I'm importing my finished slot mesh and the result. Thanks for watching and cheers!